While P. Diddy has turned pretty much anything he's ever worked on into massive success, there's one house that never lived up to his lofty ambitions. That would be his infamous Atlanta house that was eventually abandoned. P. Diddy purchased the legendary estate in 2003 when things were going pretty well for him. The place set him back $2.6 million. For a while, this was among many incredible properties in Diddy's legendary portfolio. The gorgeous European-style mansion is set out on seven acres of land. It's about as classy an estate as humanly possible. A metal gate opens to invite you through his long curved driveway. From there, it's a seven bedroom property that features five garages and 11 bathrooms. As you approach the home, you see a gorgeous white estate with the kind of architecture and surrounding greenery you'd expect from a house in Downton Abbey or something. Inside, you see exactly the same. Huge, wide open spaces with marble floors likely have an echo that will carry your first gasp throughout the house as you truly take in just how amazing it is. Huge chandeliers cover the ceilings, winding staircases lead deeper into the home, and the extensive grounds practically beg for you to throw a massive party as soon as possible. Something tells me that P. Diddy made sure this house saw more than a few massive parties. As far as amenities go, Diddy got quite some cool additions. Those include an outdoor pool, pool house, and tennis courts. Not only that, but the estate is in Dunwoody, one of the nicest suburbs of Atlanta. Houses in the area tend to be as classy as this one, if not quite as big. This is exactly the kind of neighborhood you'd expect someone with the eye for houses like P. Diddy. Still, his Atlanta home may have been his all-time best. That is, until it was left abandoned for years. Over the years, P. Diddy's career went through several changes. For instance, there was that brief time he tried to be an actor in big budget movies like Get Him to the Greek. That's the art of it. When things took a downward turn for both the country and Diddy's bank account, he could no longer keep his Atlanta mansion up. Not that it was ever far from his thoughts, though. In fact, he had full intention to fix the whole haunted house vibe that goes through the entire home. Now it is something else entirely, though. A classy masterpiece utterly crumbling away. The banisters on the winding staircases are falling away in thick wooden chunks. The roof of the kitchen is utterly destroyed. Carpets are pulled up in room after room. Pretty much the entire house ranges from looking like all it would need is a new coat of paint to fix it up, or that the whole thing just needs to be demolished once and for all. Sadly though, this wasn't the original plan for this gorgeous Atlanta estate. No, the original idea was that Diddy would renovate the home and then sell it for an enormous profit. Tell me you wouldn't watch a reality TV show where P. Diddy went around the country flipping houses. I mean, come on Netflix, that is a hit waiting to happen. The only problem was that the housing market wasn't exactly as safe a bet as everyone thought. When the late 2000s housing crash hit the United States, Diddy realized that his plans for the house would never see fruition. Eventually, he sold it for $1.3 million, a small fraction of what he paid for it. It's not quite so bad though, because his portfolio is still pretty extensive. Today, P. Diddy has a net worth of about $740 million. He has amassed this over a career that began all the way back in 97. He has also purchased a place in Beverly Hills back in 2014. Like his Atlanta pad, it's a European style villa which covers 17,000 square feet. Unlike his Atlanta home, this one was $40 million. He also owned a three-bedroom apartment in New York City for $3.83 million in 2005. He ended up selling that one for over $5 mil. So it's not all haunted houses and disappointments for Sean Combs. Now his real estate failures have been more entertaining for the internet than his successes. Diddy's abandoned mansion eventually became quite the sensation online. 
Fans went nuts trying to figure out why it was abandoned in the first place. Some thought that the new buyers were just using the remodeling plan to launder money through the home. Some just thought that complications kept the house from getting the work it needed. Others seemed to think that Diddy went running after seeing Biggie's ghost in the house. Yeah, that's right, the famously deceased rapper apparently was haunting Sean Combs. I'm going to choose to believe that one because, let's face it, it's by far the best one. Then there are the obsessed fans who took it a step beyond even that. There are people on the internet known as urban explorers. These people take their obsession with abandoned urban spaces to brand new heights. They will actually break into abandoned homes, ruins, mansions, and supposedly haunted spaces to take these gorgeous, eerie pictures of what these homes look like when left alone for years, if not decades. While most seem to leave the home undisturbed like some sort of strange mansion anthropologist, Many seemed to deface the homes even further. P. Diddy's old mansion was covered in graffiti in various rooms throughout the estate. This is not uncommon for urban explorers who want to leave a small trace that they visited a famous person's long lost home. It's not a cheap hobby or a safe one. These people spend small fortunes traveling all over the world to get a peek inside the desolate spots the rest of the world has left alone for good. Then there are the several urban explorers who went out to one of these locations and then were never heard from again. While some may risk their lives for this sort of exploration, most of them just do it for the awesome TikToks they can make about it. Still, even among people who specialize in going full Indiana Jones into the nicest abandoned homes in America, this home is identified as unsafe. Evidently, there are cameras everywhere, and the cops in this neighborhood are quick as bunnies. Redditors were warned away with a heartfelt request. If you know where this house is, don't come visit. Still, several different people found their way into the home. The potential to become insta-famous was too much for these people to handle. The Urban Explorers are obviously an action movie franchise that needs at least six movies in its own shared universe. All Diddy needs to do is abandon at least one more mansion, and I'd say we got a franchise. It seems like these Urban Explorers are quite busy all over the world. They go through abandoned mansions, cities, and other creepy spaces. Needless to say, many claim to have seen at least one ghost, though probably none as cool as Biggie, let's be honest. 